हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस लाइव स्ट्रीम आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट हाउ यू कैन इंटीग्रेट द स्वीट अलर्ट टू लाइब्रेरी इन ऑर्डर टू शो ब्यूटीफुल पॉप ऑफ डायलॉग बॉक्सेस फॉर योर एप्लीकेशंस इनसाइड योर रिएक्ट चेस सो इन द लास्ट ट्यूटोरियल आई हैव शोन यू हाउ टू इंक्लूड योर स्वीट अलर्ट डायलॉग बॉक्सेस इनसाइड जावा स्क्रिप्ट दिस इज द बेसिक डेमो हेयर यू विल सी ऑल दीज अलर्ट बॉक्सेस आई विल शो यू द डेमो हेयर यू कैन इवन टेक इनपुट फ्रॉम द यूजर इनसाइड दिस शॉर्ट लिटिल डायलॉग बॉक्सेस so this can be useful for any sort of application that you are building form validation any sort of cred application if you want to show dialog boxes inside your react js so it's a pretty good library and pre pretty minimalistic library it is not having so much dependency in involved here so i will be showing you how to integrate this inside your react js so they have they have their own uh, official website just write sweet or at 2 on google this is the library and uh, you can see in the integration tab here it can be integrated in uh, angular view and react so specifically we will talk about how to integrate this inside react so i have uh, basically written a complete blog post on my tutorial website the link is given in the description of this live stream so step by step instruction is given so let's get started so i have already just made a project of react js and now let me basically what i need to do here is that let me delete all the source code and start from scratch so what i will say is that return hello world so let me also delete this from here also so now if you see guys nothing will be shown here hello world will be shown here localhost 8080 I think I need to refresh this application. Sorry, this application local host three thousand local host three thousand. So you will see hello world will be shown here, guys. You will see that hello world is shown. and now the very first thing you need to do guys first of all you need to go to your react js project and install this dependency which is npm i suite alert 2 s w e e t a l e r 2 2 so npm i suite alert 2 this is basically the package npm js dot com it is hosted on suite alert 2 this is basically this package that we are installing here so it is almost got 5 lakh downloads so once you install this module you just need to start your application and npm start so now basically what we will do is that we will have various buttons for this so i will inside my template i will have a series of buttons out there inside the div section what we will say h1 will be there h1 tag you will say sweet alert to dialog box examples so i will be showing for each example a button will be there so basically this will be for the simplest of alert dialog and we can basically bind a on click listener to it so what i will do is that guys this is basic html code here so i will not waste your time so i will simply paste it you can copy paste it from my blog post so this is basically the buttons guys that will be shown and we need need to define each of these buttons here which is the functions so first of all we will define the function uh, handle alert click let me just first of all handle define all the functions so handle prompt click
and lastly we have handle warning click and I think we also have handle error click as well I think we have already defined this so just delete this and now we have all these uh, methods guys so if you see we have a series of buttons out there if you click any of the individual button nothing happens because we need to define the code so first of all guys what we need to say is that we need to require the library right here at the very top so this can be imported this library which inside react is SWAL from suite alert 2 this is a package that we installed now to show a basic window we can use this method SAWL it basically contains a method guys which is called as fire and here we can pass a simple message this is a simple alert click this button you will see this is a simple alert and uh, now guys uh, now to show a confirm box confirm dialog window this is slightly different we need to pass some options for this so again we will use the same method fire and this basically takes some options first is take is the title you will see all these options are available are you sure and we also have the text so delete item icons this can be various it can be error info question success warning let me use the warning one and show cancel button so this is a boolean parameter confirm button text and uh, this will be yes deleted so similarly we also have the show cancel button sorry cancel button text option as well cancel it if you see guys uh, click this button you will see basically this will be the window which will be generated you can see that this is a warning sign here and uh, all this and now uh, if the user has selected uh, we can also inside whatever option the user has selected we have this callback function this result will be capture all this information and here result dot is confirmed so this basically holds the boolean value either true false so if it is true then the user has clicked the deleted button so you will say deleted your file has been deleted and now we can even show a success uh, icon so we can say success click this deleted you will see that so in this way guys and also we can have uh, else block as well so if the user has selected uh, the cancel button in that case this is a reason if the user has selected the cancel button in that case we can show a cancel message to the user that your file is not deleted your file is safe you can see that this is all about the confirm button guys now we come to the error part error button if you want to show basically your error we can basically just display like this let me paste it we pass error something went wrong error this will be if you see you can see that similarly we have this for the success as well let me first of all show it for the warning so here we are passing warning so you can customize all these messages accordingly so
so we also have the info button as well this is info and then we have the success as well you can see your action has been completed success so if I now go to the browser click on success you will see click on info you will see that now uh, we have to remain the prompt so if you want to take input from the user guys we basically can use uh, the prompt dialog and uh, this basically again uses the same concept let me paste the code here and explain to you so this is really useful in those situations if you want to take input and the title input input label input placeholder show cancel button input validator as well so if you want to validate your data there will also be a if you don't write anything you need to enter a name and what is the nice thing about that you can change this input to email let's suppose you are capturing email enter your email and uh, so what basically it will do guys if you uh, write you need to enter valid email you can customize your messages so let's suppose prompt if I enter okay I think we need to implement that validation if you see basically input validator yeah we need to use some kind of regular expression for this to work so now whatever value that you have written it basically comes like this result dot value that so this is all about guys sweet alert to a dialog box examples inside react.js this is the way by which you can do this all the source code is given in the description of the video thank you very much for watching this live stream and i will be seeing you in the next one